hello everyone today in this video i am going to create this coffered ceiling in revit uh, using the model in place uh, using the sweep command in the model in place mod but before we start let me ask you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel do visit my channel for more revit tutorials and so now let's start open a new family template file of profile and for drawing the profile for the sweep command so open this and here i'm going to draw the profile uh, of the sweep and using this line command option and using the draw box tools so this is what i have drawn and for the major beams of the coffered ceiling and this is for the corners of the room and uh, major uh, known as the wall beam uh, i have used this uh, website and this design to draw the profile uh, for this tutorial the link for the website is given below in the description box so now open a new architectural template file and first of all i'm going to place uh, some walls for uh, to create a room so connect these walls to level two and then here i have placed these walls like this then create a roof for this uh, uh, for this room this is a flat roof with no slope and then go to the 3d this is what a simple room is and to draw the coffered ceiling for this i'm going to go to the bottom view for the 3d i'm going to attach the i'm going to create the design in the under and the ceiling of the roof instead of creating a ceiling okay so now here i have loaded both of the profiles in the in the project file now go to the model in place and from this dialog box select ceilings click ok and then set the reference plane to the underneath of the roof and for the uh, for the selection for the roof press tab, keep on pressing tab button on keyboard till you see the blue lines for the roof now select the sweep command and draw the sketch like this now go to the south elevation click ok and then go to the south elevation and open it as a wireframe display and here select the profile uh, the name for the uh, con that corner profile is that swallowing profile it has loaded in here flip it and then click ok so now we have a sweep at the corners at these four edges of the room now again select the sweep command and sketch the path like this and and once you have drawn the sketch then click ok now go to the east elevation open this wireframe display and then uh, select the profile and then click ok so this is how it is placed in here so now let's look in the 3d how it uh, it is placed along with the wall uh, along with that wall profile now if you look in the 3d this is how it appears so i want the sketch line to 
be a bit behind its previous previous position so double click on it then double click on this line and let's move it till here and till here okay now click ok and then again go to the 3d view and this is how it appears to be so now jo uh, join them with the help of join command and this is how it looks like now go to this bottom view and this is how it is joined from both sides so now let's uh, play some more sweeps to create a design of the coffered ceiling for, uh, for this room Now let's use the join command to join these sweeps and you can see how these are joined together. Now uh, I could use place these, um, I could design this ceiling with the help of the beam command as well but, uh, but a main disadvantage in that case is that the join command does not apply on the beams so i have to use this sweep command just to create good joints for the designs So now the design is complete and it looks like thick, like, looks like this and you can see that how easy it is to create this type of uh, ceilings in Revit. You can you can save different type of prof, uh, profiles as a family and you, you don't have to drop the profiles again and again for the sweeps. So you can have your own family of profiles. Uh, for your projects so that's all for today i hope you like this tutorial and if you have any kind of difficulty you can ask me anytime i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe